So firstly, Tashi Dele to all Dharma friends, I hope that you are well and I hope that you are happy. So today we'll be speaking about all of uh, all of you who are wishing for happiness, who are wishing for a stable happiness. We'll be talking a little bit about the methods to achieve that. And one of the major practices here, and also one of the um, cultivations that makes our practice a stronger, is are what is known as the five powers. So today we'll be explaining these five powers a little bit by going through a type of meditation. Mm-hmm. So in terms of the five powers, just to sort of give them to you uh, from the outset, we speak of the power of force or projection, the power of the white seed, the power of disenchantment, the power of familiarization, and the power of wishes or prayer. And if we cultivate these five powers, what are the results? Well, firstly, in terms of any positive mental qualities that we're trying to bring forth, we will without a doubt be able to generate those. And similarly, any temporary happiness that we're trying to develop will be able to develop that. So then, understanding this with a happy mind, please listen to the session. So let's take a moment to relax both the body and the mind. We need a body and mind that are calm. Relax. And any sort of unwholesome or meaningless thoughts, feelings, or projections that are arising, imagine that these are just like clouds that evaporate, that dissolve in the sky. And then think based upon this human rebirth, this human mind and capacity that I possess right now, I'm going to engage with what will allow me to achieve, to be able to achieve that perfect, stable happiness that I seek. So for the force of the for the power of the force or the power of proje- projection, we think the thought with this good mind that I have, with this capacity that I have. I am going to bring forth love and compassion and I am going to engage in them continuously until these are stabilized. For the sake of both myself and others, I am going to continuously bring forth bodhicitta until it is stabilized, until I am familiarized with it. 
I will continuously engage with bodhicitta for the sake of myself and all beings. Roger Kangalap ki vatte ho chi ho asha bala ane zo zo tan rongi se de le do nyamo ro to pa chi ko de ma to pa de po ro to nyale de ho chi in order to be able to achieve that stable state of happiness that myself and others wish for we must separate ourselves from karma and affliction i will continuously work towards that separation from karma and affliction. I must definitely achieve that. And then we think to really separate from karma and affliction, I need to understand the ultimate mode of abiding of phenomena, how things really are. I need to understand their lack of true existence. I need to understand their emptiness. I will continuously engage with emptiness until I can bring forth this understanding. And then the most important, which is kind of the key power of the force or power of projection, is to think, I definitely must, with this motivation of bodhicitta, achieve the state of Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings, I will continually bring forth the joyous effort necessary in order to achieve that enlightenment for all their sake. So we understand that unless we engage with also the practices of the accumulation of merit and purification of obscurations, we will not be able to perfect our meditation in a way to realize these goals. So then we need to bring forth this understanding of I must, in a stable way, bring forth the practices of accumulation and purification. It is said that whatever study and practice that we do, uh, the power of the white seed is something that is very important, and also this power for the white seed is very effective accumulation and purification. <laughs> And then think for the purposes of accumulation and purification to the Buddhas of the three times as well as to the Bodhisattvas, I will always make vast offerings, as vast as the offerings of Samantabhadra, in order to be able to achieve the three purposes. So that concludes the discussion.
Te mutei la kelerea, na? Top ni, nansu di akanis pembe to gan karpos So in this way, um, we have just covered two of these five powers, specifically the power of force or projection, as well as the power of the white seed. Tashi wa tomba mochea de kibare duas, pena ludo lamar moche sene lama chiuhares. Kunu lamar moche? Ludo lamar moche. So there are the stories of many holy beings. Um, for example, a great master known as Lodong Lama Rinpoche, who for 12 years kind of exerted himself in meditation, but was not able to achieve the realizations he thought, but that he sought. But then after engaging in the practices of accumulation and purification, he was able to certify to that realization quickly. <laughs> so therefore, it is said that when we engage in the accumulation of merit or of virtuous karma, we should do so on the uh, power of, uh, uh, on the basis of a powerful foundation, a powerful basis. And if we do that, then the accumulation can be um, achieved quickly. Mm -hmm. And if we engage with these five powers, if we study and practice them well, then what we'll find is that all of the difficulties in our mind, they just kind of dissolve away, just like uh, a rainbow vanishes. So thank you very much in understanding that. Then please joyfully, happily engage with the practice. We'll end it here.